and welcome everybody to Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. Actually, personally, I call it CB squared times B. Wow, that's way more complicated and worse, but also somehow better. As a refresher, we are in season two, episode three of the show. That means everyone here has one round of boxes under their belt. And today we're gonna break open this brand new one. Wow, good catch. Let's go over the rules. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it's time to spin the wheel of energy. Ba, ba, ba. All right. Ben, would you like to give it a good spin? <gasps> eyeball energy, eyeball energy, eyeball energy. Oh man, what's it gonna be today? It's fighting, if, oh man. If I remember correctly, last time fighting would have had a great showing. I think fighting would have had a great showing. Do we need to change the Eevees to match the fighting? There's not really a fighting type. Hmm, we're gonna give it to regular Eevee, hold on. Get it, cause he's brown. Therefore fighting. Therefore fighting, look, fighting is brown. <laughs> there we go. Um, also, I'd, we, oh. I'd call it Brorange. Brorange? <laughs> it's Brorange. Well, he's got orange lighting behind him, so I think we're still good. And he's next to Flareon. Yes. We also oh, need to go over today's chase cards, or the common chase cards, that is, which are going to be Lampent, Roselia, and Ghastly. Ooh. So anytime any of those shows up in any pack, it is worth one extra point. And of course, if you get that fighting energy, it's a multiplier of two on your whole pack. Amazing. Let's dive on in. My best one yet. All right, the box is open. We are in fun mode over here. Let's get things kicked off with our first patron today, Andromeda192, AKA Ellie. Ellie is coming into the day with a whopping six points. Yes, so uh, let's see if we can uh, get Ellie some more points to extend the lead. Do you remember who the, what the leader amount of points is? No! Oh. I wanna say it's in like the high 20s. I could be wrong. Maybe we should do a quick check. With, we should do a quick with, check of the old scoreboard to see how things are looking. We'll do that in a second. In the meantime, we have an important pack here. Ready? Boom! Oh, darkness energy. So no multiplier, but we'll see what we do. Oh, there you oh, go. There is a fighting a energy. Fighting energy That's right a, there. Oh two, my god. Oh, three! What? Ellie coming out of the gate. So wing in the Clefairy, the Lickitung. That's just a common reverse. And boom! The Greedent. So that's definitely going to just be a one point card. But seemingly out of nowhere, it's going to be a four point pack. Four point pack for Ellie. Oh Very gosh. nicely done. Great use of today's uh, energy type advantage with that fighting type. Cards headed your way, Ellie. Ellie now has 10 points on the board. As we go and take a quick look at the leaderboard, we can see that Abby Mondin is currently sitting in that top spot with 24 points, so that is the score to beat today. That means if our next contestant, Vincent, wants to take the lead, they are going to need uh, at least 22 points because they are presently sitting at three. All right, Vincent, let's see what we can't do for you. Here is your pack. Did you know a really cool thing about Vincent is that uh, he's a break dancer. You were kidding me. I'm not kidding. You know, break dancing feels like it would go very nicely with fighting types, which is today's type advantage. It seems like, yeah, there was a lot of fighting types in that first pack, which makes me think like, people are gonna be getting a big, big point boost today. I think big point boost, I think there's a lot of fighting types in here. And uh, so that means that if you get that energy card on top with the multiplier, you're yeah. gonna be in business. Right. Ooh, Although, not no multiplier yet. Today. Not for Vincent today, but let's see how we do here. Nothing yet. Oh, the Litwick, was that one of the chase cards? No. no the Roselia, I, I think, is though. Lampent. That's what this evolves into. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the Roselia, the Roselia is right is, there. We got yep. that one, yeah. And the Rockruff. 
Okay. Because it's fighting. Oh tight. yeah, there we go. So that gives us two points on the board. Right. There. And a Cresselia. All right, that's going to be three points total for Vincent bringing their total to six for the season thus far. Well done, Vincent. Very consistent play so far. Two three-point rounds right in a row. You know, Just sort of like a hat trick hero, you know. Yeah, you know. Sometimes, but you know what they say: if you don't, if you don't risk it big, you can't win it big, Ben. So at some point here, Vincent's going to have to like break the mold and try and go for a big card. I like it. I like it. All right, next up, Jessica Utile coming into the game with just two points. So now a very good showing in the first round. Let's see if they can uh, improve on today's pack. It is worth reminding you that we do have a prize for the last place finisher. That's so true. if you're Jesse in this case, there is some consideration to a strategy where you keep to that two point play. That's right. Maybe you don't want any good cards at all. Maybe you're not looking for the multiplier. And in that case, you're off to a great start. Although do I, I do think I see something nice, something peeking something out of the back there. Glimmering in the back. I love Last the artwork on that gloom there. That's a nice point right there. Litwick, Roselia, the Rock Rub. Oh, there you go. The Trainer Gallery Charizard. Anytime you pull a Charizard of any kind in Pokemon, uh, especially the TCG, that is awesome. And let's see what's behind it. Oh, the full art Gudra V. So I think okay, uh, this... Jesse's run for last place is officially over, but let's see how they've done. Gudra V is actually in a really great spot right now. It just won the Salt Lake City Regionals this past weekend so really really competitive card at the moment Charizard only okay competitive wise but always uh, really fun to pull the Zard. Yeah, people always love to have Charizards in their collections um, okay so the Gudra is gonna come in at 603 which has a good rounding element to it getting us up to a solid seven points so plus three three that's ten plus ten if we go and check out our Charizard here which is gonna be trainer gallery at number three that is worth even more at seven dollars eighty nine cents what which will round us up to Eight additional points. So 18 points total brings Jesse all the way up to 20 points on the season. Oh man, what a breakout pack. That is absolute striking distance on, awesome. on the leaderboard. Very no well done, Jesse. Amazing pack. These are coming your way soon. All right, Ben, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to top that next pack, but Lauren Engberg here uh, is in a good position to strike anyway, because they're coming in today with 15 points. 15 points on the day, okay. So only, only like, let's see here. So 10 points needed to get into, into that first place, place needed, spot? Yeah, and to get into a first place spot. And I, you know what, Ben? I have a feeling Lauren is going to hit the fighting energy because her mom was once on Wheel of Fortune, so I feel like her family has a good association with wheels. Oh, although... Although, oh, I, although I, I spoke too be, soon. It can't be because there the, is the, no the type dreaded advantage. V star. Wow. So unfortunately, no chance of getting that despite the Wheel of Fortune association. Well, you know, it can only go so far. Three, two, one. Oh, but there oh, but we go, there it is. right out of the gate. The so type at least advantage. we do have the type advantage working its way in. So that's going to be a point right there. The silk and the oh, Roselia, Roselia is man. everywhere. Showing up a lot. Score Still haven't seen. Points left and right. There we go. That's another point. Yeah, no The Gligar will get you. Oh, oh, the Radiant Gardevoir. Okay. Well, okay, so that's going to, at bare minimum, at least a point, if yep. not a little bit more. And, and the a Parasect. That gets all the Jay Brownie points, of course. So it's a minimum six-point pack, but possibly the Radiant Gardevoir is worth uh, one or two extra. Let's see how it does for us. If we head on over, number 69 out of the set is going to be worth $1.08, so it'll round up to two so points. So it's a seven-point pack, meaning uh, Lauren is going to be up to 22 points on the season. So actually, <laughs> goes ahead and passes Jesse one pack later. I wow. can't believe it. Wow. I wonder Man. if these two will continue continue to have a back and forth as the season continues. It's, well, it's a developing rivalry. We'll have it, to keep our eye on there it for go. sure. All right, next up we have Afropunk coming in with a very respectable 10 points on the day. Very solid, very solid. I feel like this this round of people seems to have put up some like good numbers yeah. in their last, their last round of play. Yeah, no doubt. Let's see if they can continue the trend. We've had two good packs in a row. No reason we can't have three, oh, but, but no, no help from the type advantage. No type advantage yet. Although, We've there we got, go. Yeah, that's the a point. The Litwicks are everywhere, but no Lampants yet at all. Uh, the Phalanx will help you out. The Poliwag. Oh, the Radiant Steelix. What is this box? I oh have no idea. Gosh. This is an unusual. Uh, either we're, we're very front heavy in the first half of this episode. is just going to be like. It's going to be great. Pull, or, <laughs> no. or maybe the box itself, box itself is just loaded. All right. Two Radiant Pokemon in a row. Followed by the Rhyperior. Well, this is actually going to be a two point card. Because, because you'll also be get the rare plus the fighting bonus. There you go. Okay. So let's check out our Radiant Steelix. Which is going to be number 124 on the set. Coming in at 67 cents. Uh, so 
all just rounding up to one point, but it's also a beautiful card. Just the five points on the pack. That brings you to 15 total Afropunk, well within striking distance. Also in a really good position for the quality eighth place position, is which is true. A long time viewer here on the channel, uh, you know that back in my Mario Kart days, I was known to finish the quality eighth place round after round yes. after round. And as such, we have dubbed it a uh, prize winning position on our Box Breakers leaderboard. All these years later. Now, Ben, uh, this is, I think Ro next up is Robbie Cruz. And we talked a little bit earlier about the last place finish strategy. Yes. Now Robbie's coming in after four straight great pulls on packs. So you gotta think maybe we're in time for a dud, but I think that's exactly what Robbie wants. Robbie currently has one point, <laughs> one point. on the season. <laughs> so let's see, let's see what Robbie gets. Can't. Now, I'm almost rooting for bad cards now. At this point, and, and I will say it feels, you know, I've opened probably thousands of packs at this point in yeah. time. It feels like a light pack to me, and usually heavy packs are the ones that have the heavy hitting cards in it, uh, fittingly, because that extra hollow weight, you right. know, it really, it really throws itself around. Okay, so no type advantage. Right out of the gate, there so doing go. really good for that last that last place position. Got the lady. We'll we oh, got. there's oh, the lamp, lamp in. Okay, so that'll and the couple of points so on the board. There's a couple of points. The Clefairy, the Apom. Politoed, I think that is a, that is a rare. Is a, okay, so that'll be an that'll additional be an point. point. And the Manectric. So that's looking okay. like a four point pack for Robbie. Gonna bring them to five total on the season. I have no idea like what the very bottom is gonna look like by the end of the entire season. I have to imagine that that dampens it just a tiny, tiny yeah. bit. Yeah, you think Which, there's gonna be someone who like ends the season with five or something. That, that is, a, that, I think this is what makes me so excited about the last place spot though, is that it's like, it's like if you get nothing but dud cards, it's like you're still getting elite trainer box headed your way. Exactly, which almost certainly has something good in it, although, We'll see about that. Uh, next up, we have Manuel Knight uh, coming. I think this is their brand new patron, it looks like, because they have no points coming into today's episode. Okay. So they're going to be relying on some very heavy pulls out of this box. But something cool about Manuel is that they have swam in every ocean. So we're going to watch out for the water types in particular mm. coming into this particular mm. pack, because it no seems doubt. like that's where the, although, look at uh -oh. this right out of the game. We've oh, got the, man. the dreaded V-Star. Two v -star. of them already in the box. I know. Are you ready? Bam, box. Obviously, we need a to box of disaster. That's box a good of omen. disaster. Wow, Manuel, you don't. I'm not. It's not like a good omen. Although, I do see something peeking out. In you the do back see something there. like like a little sparkly back a there. Okay, sparkly. so There's the growl the growl get you one. There's the oddish. Lick a tongue. Clefairy. Oh, the carbink. That's an extra one. Uh, and. The Aerodactyl! Aerodactyl. Okay. Aerodactyl V. Now there are rarer Aerodactyls, but it is a fighting type, so at the very least it'll be worth two points. Yeah, so let's see, number 92 on our play will get us 58 cents, which ran out to one point, mm -hmm. so two points two for points the Aerodactyl. I will say total. that my absolute favorite card <clears throat> in this whole set that we have not pulled yet, even on our end of things, uh, just personally with the boxes we've opened is an Aerodactyl uh, alt art. The alt art Aerodactyl is awesome it's looking. Really, it's really beautiful. If that yeah. one comes out, you guys will see me lose my mind. Yeah, that or what I haven't seen, what neither of us has seen yet is the alt art Galarian Preserker. Okay. Which as I understand it is the hardest card to pull, not necessarily the most valuable, but the, the rarest one. It makes you wonder if over the course of like time, that won't make that car like a really good like collector's piece because fewer people will have exactly. them. Exactly. So it'll, it should age well. It should age well. But that's to say we can even pull it. Who's to say? Anyway, next up we have B Grim coming in with three points. Uh, B Grim has informed us that she has caught them all, but can Ooh. she pull them all on the channel? That is the true question. Indeed. Let's see here. Let's see B Grim what we can do for you. Now was B Grim our season one champion? May have been. I think so. Might have been so. <clears throat> oh, and right out of the gate, we can already see there's at least one fighting bonus point there. The we top. haven't had a fighting energy <clears throat> yet. We haven't, you're should right. Should we be due? I Oh, oh not, we should not, be due soon. Not in this pack. Okay, there's the Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf, the Torkoal. It raises it. Mind food. Okay, the, 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 the Litwick. The Snowbird. The Rhyhorn. We'll get you a point. Okay, the oh, Arcanine. Uh, Arcanine. That'll be two. Arcanine, I'm sorry. Uh, will be two because it is uh, it is a star and fighting type. Yep, and, and with the Flourish. Oh, the Cramorant. Actually, we should look that one up. That one's a super competitive card. And I wouldn't even, I would look this one up too because there was a lot of hype around this coming into the set. You're 34 cents. Okay, so just the one. Well, it's still two two points because you get the fighting bonus. Yep, exactly. And then the Cramorant is going to be number 50 on the set. 
uh, which I do think we have marked as a higher value, but still it, it comes in at 95 cents. Oh. So for a basic rare, it does have like a little <clears throat> extra something behind it. Uh, but we'll only round up to one point. Bad, bad rounding. Bad rounding. Still a five point pack. Not bad. That gives you eight points on the season thus far. And all of these XL cards are headed your way. All right, next up we have Chris Ray coming into the day with three points. And it says here that uh, Chris is a big wrestling fan. So you'd think maybe that type advantage. Once again, again once again. It, yeah. it feels like we're due. It feels like it. Although so far it hasn't proven to be anything for us yet. Not like the cards have been stacked against all the expectations. Let's see. Boom! Oh! Oh, the heart of the cards! The heart of the cards, <laughs> the wrestling fed, the brawler energy is out. So this is a two times multiplier pack. Let's see if Chris can uh, capitalize on We've it. We've seen a lot of fighting types come out in this oh, set, no. although we're so many cards. Okay, the Machop, the Machop will be worth two. That's worth two. Oh no. Oh my gosh, oh, surprisingly no. minimal. Oh, the Zoro. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's a very pretty card for sure, but I have a feeling this is just going to be a four point pack. For, yeah, for the having the, the for multiplier. For having the multiplier. Oh no. All Man. Right. Yeah, I mean, we could double check the Zoroark just to be sure. Okay, number 76. We'll give it a look. Let's see. We have, we have, for what it's worth, the cards that we know to, um, to stand out above the fold. Uh, <laughs> kind of earmarked, so we're yeah. double checking just to be safe, but 53 cents. 53 cents, so, that's, so that's gonna so. be uh, one point for each of these times. Two is four That'll bring Chris up to seven back. points on the season. There you go. All right, well, well done anyway for uh, channeling our first type advantage of oh. the episode. Sad to not see it go further. I, I I'm like just waiting for the day that we pull like a super rare. I know. Alongside it, like like someone could run away with things quickly. And speaking of that someone, our next card is the one, the only, Big, Big Steve. Steve. Now, if you don't know, the Big Steve player card here is really fun because it is also associated with one of our reward tiers. If you are the person who at the end of the season finishes directly in front of Big Steve, you win an elite trainer box. And right now, Big Steve just has two points. So right now, yeah, sitting <laughs> sitting in like that, that bottom of the charts position, yeah. you've sort of got last place and Big Steve both sort of on the line for it. Um, that being said, if, if Big Steve does happen to finish in first place, then there is nobody in front of him. And that's that rules, true. Rules are simply rules, rules at that are, point in time. Rules are rules. Okay, so next pack for Big Steve. Do I get to open for Big Steve? You get Steve? to open okay. for Big Steve. This is very exciting. Big Steve was in fact, my college roommate. There, that's a fun we, fact about Big we, Steve. We go way back, so um, I'm I'm very excited to have him in on on the game here today, and we'll see what I can do for you there, Big Steve. One, two, three, four. I feel more pressure. Than I know, usual. yeah. I like, know, let's yeah. see how. It's, it, oh, oh! Stephen pulls the type advantage on two in a row. That's such a Stephen move, too. It feels like. <coughs> uh oh. oh no. It feels like something could be <laughs> something going on here. Good. Something could be Let's the point. This is the most point. Stephen thing I've ever seen. Uh, no. Oh, there's oh, already the there's two, there's points. two points. Right out, right out of right the gate. Right out of the gate. Okay. The there's oh, there's four another. Points. That's four points on the board. Yep. The Oddish. Oh, the, the Pikachu. Pikachu. Uh, and. Okay. Oh, oh, the Kyurem V! Oh man, Kyurem, super competitive card right now. Uh, I'm not sure if this version is gonna be worth more than a dollar, but we should double check. Might okay. be like a, might be a two point card, possibly a three pointer. Uh, is going to be $1.75, which will round up to two, multiplied by two because of the energy type advantage. We'll get you to four, plus the additional four from these two guys here. So eight, so eight. eight yeah. on the day. Which Eight will bring Big Steve up to 10 points 10 on the points season. On the day. So if you're looking to finish in front of Big Steve right now, you want that 11 point total. Of course, we still have a long way to go. It's likely to change as well, but I'm sure Steven is gonna be very happy with this Kira poll. All right, next up we have Jesse, who looks like a brand new patron coming into the day fresh, zero points. So last time we saw that, um, they came in and they pulled the V star. So they maybe didn't, they're not like used to the water yet. Just, there you go, you know. there you go, absolutely. And for what it's worth guys, we are, we have enough slots available over on Patreon to allow for four episodes a month with 36 participants each. There is still plenty of room left if you would like to go check it out at patreon.com slash Gaming. It's the $15 box breakers tier. That's right, let's see how Jesse does. Boom, the eyeball energy. Is that the first one of the day? The beloved eyeball energy, the beloved I believe eyeball. so. Yeah, All let's right. see. Let's see 
how we're doing here. Very minimal so, oh, on the... The Phalanx will get you a point there. The Bronzong, that's not rare. And the Parasite. The second so, one of the day. Right there. So just a simple two-point pack. A simple two-point pack. For Jesse. Thanks for playing Cars Headed Your Way. Cars Headed Your Way. You know, it's hard It's hard when you come in and you don't have any experience on the pack. So it's you true. Gotta, you know, like sometimes you gotta get, like shake the jitters out a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, who do we have up next here? Next up we have Cartavian. Cartavian. Coming in with just three points. Let's see how they can do. I love the name. It feels like Cardavian, which almost it, sounds like card, I know. you know. Yeah, 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 it does, it does. I see where you're coming from with right. the sounds and stuff. Right. That's how words work. Exactly. Okay, let's see here. We'll take off the code card. We'll go one, two, three, four, Drown. to the front. We'll and give it the flip. Boom. Oh, first fire energy. First fire there, energy, okay, there yeah. we go. Okay. Swan. Swan. Oh, the Hariyama. Okay. That'll get you a point. The Growlithe will get you a point. Have we at all yet? Not yet. Not yet. I've seen a bunch of those Slugmas though. Uh, Dynamo, the Litleo, Porygon Z. I think that is a rare, so that'll okay, go down. So that'll get you a point. And, and the, the Bufalon. All right, that's definitely just going to be a four-point pack there. Going to bring Cartavian up to seven on the season. Very close to getting into that big Steve slot, but not quite. Just a little bit short at the moment. But there is still, there are still more packs to be opened in this particular season. There's still hope. Okay, next up is Yael. Um, let's see. Now, Yael's another one who is aiming for that last place spot. They're coming today with a single point, Yael. which almost takes skill. Oh, and this is interesting, is that Yael is actually a variety streamer on Twitch, but they play Magic the Gathering, so. so, so he's maybe, going, you need a, maybe that's why they've only got one point. They're just right. not aligned with yeah, the right it's card like, it's game. Like, yeah, they're, they're, oh, okay, fire energy, we've seen another one there now. There we go, there we go. All right, let's see if y'all can keep up the, the dud packs. All right, the Growl is a single yep. point there. The Rock Rub okay. is a point. The Lost City, not a point. Oh, and the Landorus, so that's gonna be two, two points, points because it's the fighting type as well. So honestly, not bad for Yael coming a, in. A kind of unexciting pack, but still still a quality four points. Yeah, and that brings it to five, which is really the same spot the last one pointer ended at. So maybe five is like the spot you wanna be in. Then it'll be very curious to see yeah, just just how unlucky can that bottom spot be. I know, you want, so we're looking for someone to get under five. Yeah, like now. top tier bad luck. Oh, that's and actually, you know what, Russell Pong might do do it, AKA Omega, because uh, they also have just one point. One point. But you know, then there's also that that thought of like, you've got those like underdogs who got their one point on the first round, but like, they're like, you know what? I think it's get like my proper showing in. Yeah. And I feel like that's Omega here today. Okay. So All Omega's right. like, you know what? I'm gonna shoot <clears throat> for the stars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for something big. We already know right off the top there that they've got at least one fighting card in their pack. We'll put four off the top. We'll get the flip Ooh, with the eyeball, the eyeball energy. energy. It's Holy, a beloved card. It's a beloved card. Okay, it's so the Hariyama, the Hariyama, so that'll yep, be a point. a point. It does leave. The binocles, one yeah. point. Let's see what else the we can do. the Jinx. Oh, oh, the character on Pikachu! That's so fun. I mean, I mean next to Charizard, Pika, like special Pikachu cards, always worth something. Always worth something. And let's and see what we got on the back. The Trevenant. That's okay. definitely just going to be a single point, but we want to look up that Pikachu. We'll take a look to see what, what TG05 does for us. If we go to the back of our, our guide here, $4.86. We'll round up to five should give us six, seven, eight points eight. on the pack. So nine total on the season for Omega and that awesome Pikachu card headed your way. I think that's our second Pikachu of that type. Is that correct? Does that seem familiar to I, you? We've pulled this one before. Someone okay. else has one of these. Now there is a Pikachu V that has red on it instead of Dawn here. Okay. So that one is pretty rare. Okay. That okay. one I haven't pulled, neither of us have pulled that one yet. So hopefully someone gets it. Uh, Matthias coming in with the next pack. This looks like another brand new patron who doesn't have any points to their name yet. So let's see if they can uh, avoid stumbling out of the starting block like some of the other newbies on the episode. There's gotta be some beginner's luck involved as you know, ever. Exactly, you'd think so, you'd think so. All right, can they get the fighting energy? Aww. They cannot. I think it's the first metal energy we've seen all day though. The amp pump, the damage pump, Dottler. Binocles a point there. Snow over the Cedra and oh, oh boy, the, the newbies really showing their green stripes today. Yeah, just two here. points just on two the points. pack. But that does bring you basically into last place. So congratulations. Ways, that's a good that's good news. It's so a I'm consolation ready. prize. I feel like yeah, this is this is the thing, is that like really at any tier, and this is what we're going mm. for, at any tier, you can find yourself within potential striking distance of 
a reward winning position. You exactly. got last place, you got the Big Steve Award, you got quality eighth place, and of course, <clears throat> our grand champion. Exactly, exactly. And honestly, even if you just have one point, a single card can catapult you way to the front. I know that there are at least a couple of cards in this set, at least one card that's worth more than $200 on its own, so, which would very handily put you in a you're strong- You're pretty good <laughs> if you get that one, no doubt. Anyway, next up is Annika, or Annika, I'm sorry, I pronounced that wrong. Annika like harmonica is what it says here. Coming in with 10 points on the day, so Annika, has wanted to collect Pokemon cards for a while and thought this would be a good way to start. I agree, it is a good way to start. And if you want to start, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Sign up at our box breakers tier, like Annika. Water Whoa. energy, so haven't seen the fighting in a while now, but let's see if Annika can put in some work. It just means we're due, it just means we're due, that's all. We still haven't seen the Ghastly <laughs> on the day either. Ex not at all. The Mean Shao, okay, so that's one extra point. And oh, the Father okay. <laughs> so it's gonna be, uh, what, three points for the pack? Yep, 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 I believe so. So this is like one of the things that always blows my mind is that Polyrath is a is a fighting type. What? Yeah, it's like water fighting. Water fighting. Yeah. Okay. So okay. If you if, even if you look on the card, it's powered up with water type energy, even though it's a fighting type card. Okay. Yeah. So it's a it's a bit of a weird one, but anyway, good. Well done, Annika. Up to thirteen points. Woo! In good good uh, big Steve. Cat, uh, category points Oh, that's there. true, that's very true. It's a good position to be in. Next up is Sammy coming in with three points on the day. All right, so Sammy actually got into Pokemon because of the Nuzlocks on this channel. Then. No kidding, so okay. Maybe they'll pull some fun Nuzlocke fan favorites out of the pack here. There's the grass, Kamala. Okay, Thornton. Never heard of him. Uh, Thornton, that never guy. heard of him. <laughs> Are, you it? were offended when we last pulled a Thornton. We pulled so many full art Thorntons on this show. There is a Again, it's a rare Buffalon and the Stone Journer. So that is going to be a two point Stone Journer. Okay, and then we'll also, yeah, the Buffalon will get you an additional point. And the Meta gets you next. Yep. So, so it's a four, four point, point pack. pack. Another very consistent performance by Sammy, bringing them up to seven on the day. I feel like we're getting a lot of people suddenly into this seven point range. I know, it's interesting to see, yeah, like after a couple of episodes where people are starting to like fall. Indeed. All right, next up we have Alyssa, who loves to cosplay, draw, and write stories. How about that? Okay. Well, maybe we're writing your story right now. Alyssa. Right here, so three points. <coughs> three What's points on the day. What do you think the story will be? The I story, think, I mean, do you think it could be the story <coughs> of the day? You think, ooh, boy, could it be the story of the day? Day that Alyssa suddenly pulls a massive card and takes the lead? Well, yeah. we're gonna find out, aren't we? Sometimes it's fun to just go all in on a thought yeah. like that. Yeah. Boom. Oh. Okay. But no, no, no fighting. No fighting type off the top. Let's see here. Oh, world. Oh, it doesn't look like a promising pack so far. Not so far. <laughs> doesn't mean the last card can't be great. Let's that see, is a star. So, there's so, a star. Be so there's point. that. Oh, oh no! Not a whole lot to go off uh -huh. of there. Unfortunately, not even a fighting type in the entire pack. Boy, to get you an extra point. Oh, the story is that was disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Alyssa. <laughs> Better luck next time. Well done. Either hey, way, we're, we're thank you for playing cards headed your way. Stories are long. And you know we're not at the end yet. That, this is the this is the rising action. That was cool. Yeah, that was a good way to say that. Thank you, thank you. All right, next up we have Stefan and Susie. So this is like a sort of like a duo playing okay. together. Kind of a duo. And yeah, they're like they're that. brand new into the uh, into the game. New patron. This is exciting. Does it say that they're into CrossFit and Pokemon? Wow. 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 I love unusual Venn diagrams of interests. Yes. It's like do. nothing makes me happier than when you discover somebody is like uh, unexpectedly into two things that don't always seem like they go together. Don't always. Although not this is never. Not, not the case in this particular example where it's yeah. well known that Pokemon lovers also super into CrossFit. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we were just at the gym this morning and here we are making our Pokemon show. There we are. All right. Here we go. Can they break the green new newbie uh, trend we've got going? All right, not with the lightning energy. Not with the lightning But we'll energy. see. It's not what you like to see. And a gift energy, maybe they'll get a gift here. Let's okay, see, the okay. binocles, the yeah. one point there. The blip bug, the finny on the seal, and... Oh, oh the oh. So I am afraid not. You guys can uh, share these two points among yourselves if you want to. That is gonna be two points on the day. <laughs> you can share this amongst yourself. Be sure to share. <laughs> Be sure to share, that's right. Oh man, between Stefan and Susie. Oh man, you guys. Well, you've, uh, I think you're at least a contention for last place. So Congratulations. There's that. there's that. Next up 
Jupiter Fox. Jupiter Fox. Another big contender for the last place spot. They're coming in with just a single point themselves. I wonder how disappointing it is <coughs> when people uh, do well enough that they lose that last spot convention, yeah, right. but not so well that they quite make it into like the Big Steve territory. Right. We're it would talking be, like eight, nine points. It'd it's be like, really impressive if Jupiter only gets the single point and stays in like that last place tie at two points. Because they'll have had multiple packs. I know, it's true, it's true. So let's yeah. let's see. Right out of the gate, there's at least a little bit of an indication that that could happen. All right. Let's see if Riley, Riley or the, the editor. There we go, Rock, 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 Rock that'll get okay, you at least one point. point. So, so there we go. Mm -hmm. the, Machop, we'll get you Oh, oh Trainer Gallery. Bennett. Oh, oh and there's, there's something, something else back there. Is there is something else. Okay, yeah, so Jupiter the Bennett, and let's see what else we got. Oh, oh, the full art Pidgeot V. How about that? That is a real, I haven't seen that one yet. I know, that's a, a, that is definitely card. a new one here in the office. So let's take a look. So this is going to be number 188 on the set. We'll take a look at that trainer gallery as well to see what <coughs> we got here. It's always exciting to get to go to my clipboard to see how everybody's doing. So let's see, 188 is going to be three dollars and fifty cents. So that's a four point that's card. That's a four point. Five, six. And then uh, what's the Bennett coming in at? Okay, so we're at six points. We go over to Trainer Gallery. So that's 87. So okay. that'll get you an additional point. So up to seven points. See, so, the good news about something like this is like, well, they're probably not in last place contention anymore, but at the very least, that means they got some good cards. That's also true. That's also true. And that is a really beautiful card. This is like one of those that like whenever we put them on the turntable, I love like when the colors get like just like really like a real. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. It's got that awesome like pink to purple gradient going on there. Looks so nice. All right, you can enjoy that Pidgeot from the comfort of your home very soon. Next up we have uh, Aish. I, I think that's how I'm saying it. There's no pronunciation guide on this one. <laughs> Aish! Aish! Uh, this is another brand new uh, patron into the game right here. Am I up? You're up. Am no. I up? You're up. I'm up. Aish, I got you. I got you. We're gonna we're gonna crush it with this pack right here. Well, well. We are going to crush it because we haven't seen the fighting energy in a while, or the brawler energy, as we sometimes like to think of it. I can already see at least one bonus point for you right there. Oh no. Oh, Man, no. I have spoken oh, too no. soon. Oh, no. It's the dreaded V star, so the opportunity for the double points is not there. But that doesn't mean that you can't get a good uh pack either way. Get the Obama stuff. The carbink, the Makuhita. Okay, okay. See, we're coming out, we're coming out swinging, man. Right, in fact, I do see something back there. Do you there. see something? A little something oh, sneaking around the edges? you see something sneaking out there on the back. Let's like it see, it's the, uh, it is the Galarian Preserker V, but not the alt art one. Uh, that's probably gonna be a single point V card if I had to guess. We'll, we'll double check. We'll double check. Sure. It's yeah, possible. That, that's gonna come in at 38 cents, rounds up to one. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be a three point start. A three point start. So now the real challenge, because because we weren't sure who was supposed to pull for Aish, uh, <laughs> is whether or not this pack right here, Oh no. this pack right here will beat Three points, All and right. then we'll discover who is who is better off. <laughs> who's better <laughs> off with opening that one? <laughs> Hannah Williams enters the game herself. Uh, another brand new patron on the day. All right, Hannah, three points. <clears throat> That's all we need. We just you need just three, to points three points to show up. We've seen people score less. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen folks. It feels like you have it in you. Run. This is like who's gonna win the white what? jersey today? I know, know, I know, I know. There's so many new patrons in the game. I'm, I'm, pull, I'm pulling for three points hard. Okay, so let's see here. Right, so you got the gloom. Got the gloom. Fantina, there's one okay, point. There's one point. Just two to go. Two to go. We can do this, people. We can do this. There's two. But so there's at least two. three. Oh, this is gonna be a four point. Pack. Oh, there we go. Because there, there, that'll one. at least get yep. you a point there. And, and oh, oh, that's another. That, we should look that one up. Just the double, the doubly short. It's a cool, it's a cool piece of Very art there. Very cool. Yeah, uh, number eighty-eight. Just to double check, we'll see yeah. how. It's at how least a two-point card. And it's forty-two cents on that one, so it'll round up to round up to one because it's fighting energy be worth two, uh, which will give us uh, five. Five on the pack, on the pack and on the season. Ha! Well, there you go. Take sorry. that, Team J and Aish. Yeah. I'm sorry. In your I've faces. let you down. <laughs> I've let you down. Hannah immediately passed you out of the gate. All right, next up we have Tyler Gillies, who actually, uh, has, first of all, has an identical twin brother, which is awesome, because you know I have twins. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, I'm yeah. always a big fan of other identical twins. And then uh, they're coming in with 11 points, so they if they have a second good pack here, they can really uh, jump in. What? It, it, okay, answer me this. The fact that like people come into the game and have already scored high points, we're dealing with sheer randomness, and yet I'm still like, oh, we gotta watch out for Tyler. I know, like, it feels like, like wow, it's like, they're it's like, good. Okay, stage has been set. I know. <laughs> 
Damn! Oh, the stage is indeed set. You no, love to see it. This is, I think, the, the fourth one we've seen, right? Third yeah, I believe fourth? so. Yeah. yeah, but no one's really capitalized big on it yet. So let's see if Tyler can do something here. All right, Mirage Gate. Okay, very go, good. Right Boom. out of the gate. Right there, out of so. the gate. Oh, oh the Rhyhorn. That's four points. The Maul, the Shell. Oh! Oh, that's going to be six, six points. Six points and the Magirna. So I think in... Seven points. Seven points. Oh, no, I'm right, sorry, eight, eight because points. this yeah, will still be double. Yep. Yep. So an okay. eight point pack. Honestly, it's like there's not really great cards in there, but because of the multiplier, they still jump up to 19 points, which is very respectable that, in this game. Yes, that's got to be at least on the, on the top of the leaderboard uh, area. Yeah, no doubt about that. All right, so well done to Tyler. We have to keep our eye on them. Next up is John Munyon, like Paul Bunyan. Okay, okay. Yeah, another brand new patron on the day. So another contender for the white jersey, I suppose. Also currently uh, <clears throat> in the in the U.S. Navy, currently serving, I believe. Oh wow, uh, which is which is very <clears throat> cool. So I guess is Navy. Would you plant more water type speciality? I would. Okay, okay. Yeah. So let's see if we can get something good in the, the arena of water. Oh, oh, we do have a fighting we type. We have a type advantage again. Okay, and oh, with and the, the ride, ride on, on, right out of the right. gate. Okay, let's go. see what we can do here. Let's see what water we can cards, do. There we go. That's, that, that's and we're up to four, four points. points. And the oh, ride, the ride So it's just so. going to be a six point pack after all that. After all that. No one's really cashing in big on the type advantage so far. Not not so much. Which not is, so much. Which is it kind of interesting because there have been quite a few fighting types. Like, I think the average score has probably been like shifted up by a couple of points yeah. this particular round of opening uh, compared to what we've seen in previous rounds. However, we haven't had any like big hitters yet. We have not had any real big hitters on the time. It feels like maybe, maybe we'll see one more fighting type uh, energy in this box, but we are starting to get towards the bottom here. Next up is Jade, another contender for last place. So we're hoping maybe even for a dud pack here for Jade, because they've got one point coming into one the episode. One point, one point. Yep. Uh, oh, this is cool. Jade is the president of the Harry Potter fan club in her high school. Hey, we would have gotten on exceedingly well. I suspect we would have. All right, here we go. Here we go. Boom! Fire energy. Okay, that's good. We don't want any multipliers in here, but we, and there oh, is the Macho. Okay, so we already got like a little bit going for us. Paris, okay. That, oh, uh -oh, uh oh, that's a double. It's at least, it's gonna be a trainer gallery. <gasps> the oh, the trainer gallery, turn it as V. That was, and the Sableye, which we know is actually one of the cards in the uh, set that scores big as yeah. a regular hollow. $3.28 for a, the Sableye. So that's, so that's four. A, that's four points right plus there. Plus the Machoke is five. Plus five, and then we'll go to trainer gallery number what? Number uh, 21. Oh man, I love the Eternatus Trainer Gallery runs with Rose up there. $5.28. All right, so it's gonna be an 11 point pack. There we go, okay, I, I that is, that's fun play right there. That is. That's that brings, exciting stuff. That brings Jade up to 12 on the season, and man, yeah, that Eternatus is really cool. It's cool to see the even the Sableye pop out, because like when you when you go through and like review uh, which of the cards that aren't like those full arts, yeah. that like also have like an extra like bit of punch power, it's like, it's cool because of like the role that they play in competitive gameplay, and the yeah. fact that that gives it that like, such a boost. Yes. It makes me like that much more excited about like a $3.50 card. I know. Then you like would be over like, a full arc that's worth like six bucks or something, ah, for example. Well, that, that Sableye was part of the winning deck in uh, Peoria uh, regionals earlier this year, uh, won by Torg Reklev, who was using the Sableye Lost Box deck, and that was like his main attacker for the deck. So there you go. Basically one of the best cards in the game, competitively, right now. Anyway, next up is Tyler Siegel, uh, who's coming in with two points on the day. Let's see how big it goes at me. I believe it's it you. It is me. All right, Tyler. I got I got another Tyler. Okay, oh, you have another Tyler. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tyler's been around at SCB for a while. They've been watching since the Pixar theory came out. So. Early on, what year was that? 20... 2012, I think. 20, 2013? 2013, somewhere it was, in there. It was early days. It was early days. All right, let's see what we got for you, Tyler. Uh, Eyeball energy. Always a good sign. Always a good sign. It's a good mine, omen. Mine shall. The minion. Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo, okay, yep, absolutely. The Glygar. The Basculin, that's not nothing too special. And oh, then another the Raichu. Raichu. So four points on that pack there. Well done, Tyler. Cards headed in your direction. Bam. All right, next up, Ben. Aiden Rudinirez. All right, Aiden. Aiden with five points in round one. Respectable. Very respectable indeed. I mean, and from round to round, you never really know like what, what role the... Um, 
type advantage is playing in anything. So you always got to keep that in mind in terms of like what what feels competitive from a previous round. Right. All right. So we got a we got our fire type there, and I do feel like this is going to be something, something to what? something to shake a stick at, as it were. Got Gligar's the Gligar. Point there. The, the Rhyhorn's Rye point. Spirit Tomb. And oh, it is something to shake a stick at. It is Giratina V, the set mascot itself. Basically, kind of like the devil of Pokemon. Let's take um, a, let's take a look and see how Giratina V does. For Giratina us. V, extremely good card. I'm on quite a win streak right now on my own online account using this card. So. That's very exciting. Okay, so that's going to come in at five dollars ninety one cents. Right. Rounds up to six. So seven eight points on the pack. It's going to bring you to thirteen total on the season. And yeah, Giratina V, extremely good card. Spell well, the V star, maybe more specifically, but you gotta have the V to play the V star. All right, next up, EK Sko coming in with two points on the day. Ben, would you do the honors? I'd, I'd be, I'd be happy to. It would be my pleasure. Okay, let's take a look here. Two points, another big contender for that last place spot. Got to see it. Do you think people are like just hoping for bad packs when they're like near the bottom? I think so. I think so. And we got an eyeball energy as ever. You know, we like we like the eyeball energy here. Point horsey and, and boom, oh. the glass grind. And just like that, it's another two point pack. Hey, how exciting. Oh no, three point pack, right? Oh. This will be worth one plus You're the additional right. for the fighting. Oh, sorry. So three you point are. pack. Almost gave him too many points and forced them out of that bottom spot. They're right at five points, which is apparently a good spot to be if you're going for last place. There we are. The only people below that are people who've only had one pack to their name. So next up we have Matt Cox, another two-pointer thus far. Let's see uh, if we can get anything on the board for Matt here. I feel like Matt's not one to settle for last place. They just want the big card. I think so. You know? I think so. Just to say, we're gonna find out if they can pull it off though. Are you ready? Boom! The metal energy there. So no type advantage. Did your hand ever feel bruised from oh the Roselia will get the, you. The yeah. There's a point. Inke, the blip bug, the Finneon. Oh, oh, look at that! Oh my gosh. God, you did it with like such a casual flourish. I know. I was oh like, my oh gosh. wait, it's so much cooler. That is the gold secret rare collapsed stadium. Oh my gosh. Wow, let's that is a, to the, Let's take it to the... Awesome card right there. Look at that shimmer. Woo! Yep, the Collapse Stadium Secret, number 215 on the set, will be worth $6.16, rounded up to seven. Seven, eight, nine points on the pack. That's gonna bring you to 11 on the season. There's nothing, like when you're, when you, I, I know that Jay says like in competitive play, it's like there are some folks who like to have uh, like all the standard cards, and there's some folks who like all the bling. Yeah. I feel like having some having some gold <laughs> having in your deck, the, having the bling, never a bad, thing. never a bad. Thing. <laughs> I, I enjoy. I like to bling my own cards out. So, you know, don't feel bad about playing your gold cards. You don't have to keep them in a in a plastic sleeve the entire time. All right, next up we have uh, Bry Live. <laughs> Bry Live is a, is a really fun situation because it's uh, Brian and Olivia, right? And we have struggled over how to pronounce their, their particular name, name but for now this we whole time. Know. And I think that they have had a lot of fun yeah. watching us struggle, watching us struggle throughout. Yes, but now so. we know. Bry like Brian, live like Olivia. There we go. Okay. Bry Live. Bry Live. It's on Bry Live. Here we Let's go. See what we can do for you. Yeah, we do. They have four points on the season so far. One, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. Boom! Now, water energy sitting on top. Got the ride, ride on. on. Have we only had one ghastly the whole box? I think the pseudo wudo the Mr. Mime. Oh, it is a star, so, so that gets your counts. point. And the Macargo, so it's actually gonna be a five point pack. Not a bad, yeah, for, for nothing like super thrilling in there, that's not a bad, that's not a bad path to five points. There you go. Now we are down to like how many packs left here? Four packs on the day. Actually, only two people left uh, to pull packs for. So next up we have Mask Maker coming in with three points spent. Uh, he spent an embarrassing amount of time studying wand lore. Hey! They wanted you all to know that. You know what? Someone needs to be the wand maker for the future. Exactly. You know, Ollivander can't do it forever. Right? All right, can we have a, I would, I am waiting for the day where our final pack of the day is also like the big boo. I know, I know, know, yeah, like there's no way for us to like like predict the order, but this could be it. Whew. Water, okay. Let's see, what do we got here? Medicham, we'll get you a point. Cham, the Misfortune Sisters, the Machop is a point, the Wind Up Arm, 
And the Beautifly, so that one is just uncommon. There we go, it looks like a solid three points to me. A consistent performance by Mask Maker there, bringing them to six points on the season. I do think the Beautifly, as far as like going back to like the, the original, like, you know, or, or like late 90s packs of like hollow cards, it feels very old school to me for some reason. Yeah. It's got like a, it's like a, just a nice aesthetic. Yeah, I like that one. All right, and our final pack of the day goes to Simon Perchert. He's coming in with three points. Hang on, hang on. Oh boy, oh wow, look at this. Ben's doing a little shell game here for you, Simon. Okay, okay, I'm gonna tuck those wow. guys away. I feel okay. good about this one All right. here. I feel good about this one. Are we ready? I'm ready. Three points for, for Simon. Three points for Simon. Can they jump all the way up into like the high 20s? Could it be? Could it be? <clears throat> Is this the pack? Is this the pack? We've had a couple of good pulls so far. Doesn't mean we can't have more. All right, you ready? <sighs> oh, okay. The metal energy. All right. Lady. Mm -hmm. Oh, the yeah. Lampin, that's a point. Oh, Lampin, you're right. Yeah. Have we had many of those? Not many. Okay, okay. Pseudo Wudo, that'd be a point. Sword, like to... The Ghastly. Oh, you're right. And, oh! oh the two wrong. So, so just the four point four pack points there, taking pack. advantage of the chase cards, brings you to seven points on the season. And our final pack of the day, head to Simon Perch shirt. Enjoy those cards, sir. So one of the highlights of today, we had a couple of, we had the, the uh, secret, uh, or the gold. The gold collapse stadium. We had the trainer gallery Charizard. Yep, the trainer, the trainer gallery. gallery Pikachu. Also cool. Yep. And then the train, I feel like there was a third trainer gallery that was that was pretty. Uh, we had the Bennett in there. We had the yep. trainer gallery Eternatus. Yep. That yep. was another good so, one. Trainer gallery definitely showing up in fine form. And that's yes. a fun mm -hmm. new aspect that I feel like the, the TCG has like introduced because it gives you like yet another reason to have like really, really beautiful cards that yeah. like have that collectability factor, even if they don't have quite the same like level of like competitive flair necessarily. Yeah. Well, sometimes they do. Sure. Like, a absolutely. lot of times they like they'll they'll just take, oh, you want that card? Here it is uh, again, but now rarer, so you want it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But anyway, Anyway guys, let's take a quick look at the leaderboard to close out the day to see where everybody stands on season two. Yeah, take note of where you are on there. How close are you to winning one of the elite trainer boxes or the full booster box by the end of the season? If you want to get in on the game, it is definitely not too late. We have plenty of spaces left available. If you want to sign up, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Just select the box breakers tier. We want to be opening packs for you. Link to that is in the description down below. Otherwise, until next time. Bye. Next up. Oh, let me see if I can read this right. <laughs> Eskew. Like though. No, Eskow. Eskow. E.K. Scow. Like okay. it says like though. E.K. Sco. Sco. Okay. E.K. Sco. All right. E.K. Sco.